Many people say that health care in countries like France, Germany, Britain, and Canada is great because it's free. Government pays for everything. No one has to worry. And free is good, right? Well, not so fast. There you go. Thank you very much. What happens when there's a free giveaway? Here it's ice cream cone. People wait in line to get them. Here it's gasoline. People wait in line, wasting gasoline, just to get it. It's the law of supply and demand. Lowering prices increases demand. Lowering it to nothing, here it's beef being passed out, pushes demand for the roof. In countries where health care is free, governments deal with that increased demand for it by limiting what's available. Just to get some more beef to Martin. It's why the British National Health Service made news by promising it would reduce wait times for hospital care to fewer than 18 weeks. But that's still more than four months. The nationwide shortage of NHS dentists is... These people are waiting for a dentist appointment. Hundreds of people queued around the block. Waits are so long, some people do it themselves. He used super glue. People pull their own teeth, dental tools, pliers, and vodka. Free British care even inspired one hospital to save money by not changing the bed sheets every day. British papers report instead of washing them, the staff was encouraged to just turn the sheets over. And year after year, so-called free health care leads to doctor protests in France and Germany because governments hold down health care costs by paying doctors less. Government rationing in Canada is why when Karen Jepp was about to give birth to quadruplets last month, she was told all the neonatal units she could go to in Canada were too crowded. She flew to Montana to have the babies. People line up for care. Some of them die. That's what happens. Canadian Dr. David Greitzer, author of The Cure, thought the Canadian system was great until he started treating patients. The more time I spent in the Canadian system, the more I came across people waiting for radiation therapy, waiting for the knee replacement so they could finally walk up to the second floor of their house. People wait in line. You want to see your neurologist because of your stress headache? No problem. You just have to wait six months. You want an MRI? No problem. Free as the air. You just got to wait six months. But fans of Canada's system, like Michael Moore, point to the fact that Canadians live longer. Isn't that proof that the Canadian system is better, even if they have to wait in line? That's the line where they live three years longer than we do. That's the line I want to be in. But Canadians live longer because of things unrelated to health care. Americans are more likely to die in car accidents and five times more likely to be murdered. Take those factors into account, not to mention obesity. And Americans live longer than Canadians. In America, we kill each other more often. We shoot each other. We have more car accidents. Forgive me, more of us look like you. This, and yeah. that's the reason they're living longer in Canada. I will say, in part, it's because they never have to worry about paying to go see the doctor. Most Canadians do like their free health care. Well, it's a hell of a lot better than the States, I know that. Sorry. <laughs> and many Americans believe we should copy Canada. I think Canada is a good model for where the 21st century world needs to go. But many Canadian doctors tell us the Canadian system is cracking. Hi, Mr. Bell. Yeah. I'm Dr. Latowski. Nice to meet you. This man's in this Toronto emergency room because he had a heart attack. What do they tell you about when an ICU bed might become available? Uh, they're waiting for the chance that somebody may be transferred so that I can get that spot. Now in America, people wait in emergency rooms too but not like in Canada. We can't send these patients to other hospitals that have capacity because there is no other hospital in the area that has capacity. Every other emergency department in the country is just as packed as we are. There's no bed for this little girl, and she has no pediatrician that her parents can take her to to monitor the seizures she gets. In fact, more than a million Canadians say they can't find a regular family doctor. Some towns, like this one, hold a lottery. Once a week, the town clerk gets this box out of the closet. Inside are the names of everyone in town who wants a family doctor. She pulls out one slip and then calls the lucky winner. I just want to let you know that your name has been drawn for Dr. Keel's patient list. Oh, you're quite welcome. Others in town wait. The waiting has driven some Canadians to go to private clinics like this one. They're in such demand, they're springing up now at the rate of almost one per week. Even though if you read the law in most parts of Canada, they're illegal. 
Many clinics all across Canada are illegal for profit. Everyone just ignores the law? Correct. They know they can't get the health care they need from the legal system. So they're complicit in creating an illegal system that'll give them what they need. This private clinic was started by the president of the Canadian Medical Association. He says his clinic is legal. It will all be fought out in the courts. And we can arrange that within two or three days. Businessman Rick Baker makes money from Canadian rationing. People stuck on waiting lists, like Shirley Healy, pay him to get them to America for treatment. Healy had a blocked artery that kept her from digesting her food. She was starving to death. She'd lost 50 pounds. She hired Rick to help her get to this hospital in Washington State, where she saw an American doctor. The doctor said that I would, would have only had a, a very few weeks to live. Yet the Canadian government calls her surgery elective. The only thing elective about this surgery was I elected to live. Now I should say, all of Canadian health care is not long lines. There is one place where they do offer easy access to cutting-edge, life-saving technology. CT scan, endoscopy, thoracoscopy, laparoscopy, arthroscopic procedures to evaluate joints for cartilage abnormality. Available all the time. 24 hours, 7 days a week. Patients rarely wait. If I see a patient that's torn a cruciate ligament in that patient's knee, we can generally have that patient scheduled within probably a week. But you have to bark or meow to get this kind of treatment. Want a CT scan in Canada? Vet clinics said they could get a dog in the next day. For people, the waiting list is a month. Many clients will come here with their pets, and as they're leaving, it's when next time I get sick, I want to come here. I, I don't want to go to the regular hospitals. When 2020 returns, a pet peeve about America's healthcare system. All those profits. Who cares? I'm alive. Next.